You know what's so cool about when you come to a museum like this is that from one spot you can see all these different generations of right. racing in one place. It's like watching the evolution of the sport and right. the progression and all the changes they made over the years. It's really fascinating. I mean, a Tiny Lund drove this 64 right. Galaxy. <laughs> I mean, and not, how just, about the King? Right. I mean, how could you change this? This is a 74. He won his fifth championship in this car. And this, let's be honest, this is a really ugly car <laughs> without his colors on it. But, when but you now see it's an it, icon. Right, when you see it with his colors, with the petty blue on there, with the STP logos, you go, wow, this car is really cool. But looking inside it and seeing where we are from a safety perspective, yeah, it's huge. We have, we've come a long way. And I mean, yeah. Speaking of icons. How about this? The 88 Daytona 500 winner, Bobby Allison, his car's here. Imagine doing 200 miles an hour around Talladega Super Speedway in this. I can't, and you know if we're in town, I mean, you know who's gonna be here is Bobby Allison. We gotta find him, he can't be far. When we walk around this museum, you see this much history in one place, and you know, see a car that you raced, that you won with, and then when you watch, I mean, we've watched races together before, sitting, sitting in the stands. When you see these cars now, I mean, where do you think we've gone from something like this to the cars we have on the track? How, how did that happen? Well, it evolved. And one of the things that, that wasn't addressed strong enough, early enough, was the safety factor. Right now, go faster than they wanted to do. Nobody really wanted to go 209 miles an hour. One of the real Oh, we have a problem. Has blown the tire. Bobby Allison with a horrible crash here on the front stretch. It has torn out a complete section of protective railings. You know, everybody kind of says that because of your big wreck here is really the, the invention of the restrictor plate, right? How fast do you think, if that restrictor plate hadn't found those engines, how fast do you think we would have gotten here before people said, all right, this is, we've reached total insanity? Because it, we yeah. were there. We were in total insanity right then, believe me. Uh, if they'd have left this thing alone, uh, you could go to 245 here. Would you have been willing to do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't talk about racing in Alabama without talking about the Allison family. Bobby Allison, where did the Alabama gang come from? That was really, really a neat deal. You know, I'm from South Florida. Donnie and I came out of South Florida in 1959 and discovered Alabama. Uh, I had a hero at home, a guy by the name of Red Farmer. Sure. You know? And I had worked for Red before I drove professional. So I came here and I did good. And the second week here, I won my first feature of my career and went back home on the midweek. And Red, Red, you ought to come to Alabama. So he loaded his car up and came. And I began to, to win some races. Sure. And then I began to branch out and, and go to different places for special events. And so they had a big race at Asheville Weaverville Speedway. You know, stand in line there to sign in. And Jack Ingram, who was a youngster, but, but a good competitive guy at the time, looked up and he said, oh no, here comes that dang Alabama gang again. And it just really sounded so good to me. I said, <laughs> yeah, that's us. And we're here to rob the train. And we did, we went one, two, three. 